Dilbert cartoonist Scott Adams is in some hot water over some spicy comments he made about a poll which gauged black Americans' attitudes towards white people. The controversy began after the results of a Rasmussen survey were published. Asked to respond to the statement, it's okay to be white, 26% of black Americans disagreed and 21% said they were not sure. Look at it another way. 47% of African Americans are not comfortable being around white people. And over a quarter literally believe that white people are born with the original sin of their skin colour. An immutable characteristic over which they have no control. Apparently, that's not shocking or disturbing at all. No. What Scott Adams said about the poll is what should really concern us. So if, if you know, nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, According to this poll, uh, that's a hate group. That's a hate group. And I don't want to have anything to do with them. And I would say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the fuck away. Get, where, wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. This can't be fixed. Right, this can't be fixed. You just have to escape. So that's what I did. I went to a neighborhood where you know I have a very low black population, because unfortunately there you know there's a high correlation between the density. And this is according to Don Lemon, by the way. Um, so here I'm just quoting Don Lemon when when he notes that the when he lived in a uh, mostly black neighborhood, there were a bunch of problems that he didn't see in white neighborhoods. But those who don't want to focus on education, you just need to get away from them. Just get as much distance as you can. The reaction was swift and overwhelming. Hundreds of newspapers in unison all announced that they'd no longer be carrying Adams's Dilbert cartoon. In addition to the USA Today network, which includes the Arizona Republic, St. Augustine Record, Courier Journal, Austin American Statesman, and hundreds more, the Washington Post, Los Angeles Times, San Antonio Express News, Philadelphia Inquirer, Chicago Tribune, Cleveland Plain Dealer, were among other individual papers racing to drop Adams like a hot potato. Interesting, isn't it, how many of these same publications said they stop posting police mugshots because it feeds negative stereotypes. John Heiner, VP of Content for Michigan's M Live Media, said the group was dropping Dilbert because it has, quote, zero tolerance for racism. Yeah, did you see the results of that poll, John? Pretty racist, wasn't it? Even Adams himself admitted that he was now, quote, mostly cancelled, adding, quote, So most of my income will be gone by next week. My reputation for the rest of my life is destroyed. You can't come back from this. Brutal. But let's draw back and look at the bigger picture. 20 million black Americans think it's not okay to be white. Yet Scott Adams is the racist. Okay. Adams was horrified that a poll of black people showed only half believe it's okay to be white. He called this hate and recommended white people live far away from blacks. MSM verdict, Adams is a racist, but not the 20 million black people who think it's not okay to be white. Elon Musk responded by pointing out the manifestly observable fact that the media is institutionally racist against whites and Asians, which apparently is just fine. Look at media coverage of unarmed white victims of police violence compared to unarmed black victims. It's virtually non-existent. What are white people superior at? <laughs> what exactly are white people superior at? They're real good at violence. Violence. Genocide. Think of it this way. Imagine if 47% of white Americans said that it's not okay to be black. There'd be national uproar. The poll would be treated as some dark harbinger of the rise of white supremacy. Flip it back and there's no outrage over this poll. An infinitely more outrage about a cartoonist talking about the poll really makes you think. Oh yeah, and don't forget, it's okay to be white. Are you tired of being bombarded with degenerate and inappropriate content on mainstream social media platforms? Do you want a secure and private online space where you can connect with your family without being exposed to that deluge of repulsive content? If so, then look no further than Digital Homestead, the social media platform that prioritizes family and privacy. Gone is the kind of trash that you'll encounter on platforms like Facebook, which seem to be more interested in censoring political speech than doing anything about softcore porn and all the 
other vile stuff that's on there. Grandma doesn't need to see any of that crap. With Digital Homestead, you can rest easy knowing you have complete control over who sees your family's posts. This means you can create a safe and welcoming space for your family. To share, to connect, without worrying about unsavory material. You can also wave goodbye to algorithms hell-bent on keeping your eyes glued to the screen. Weird facial recognition AI software. Platforms selling your private info, assaulting your senses with invasive advertising. And say hello to a new digital home for your family on Digital Homestead. Sign up for Digital Homestead today at digitalhomestead.app slash pjw and start connecting for free. It also works like a dream on mobile. People are always asking for solutions alternative to the stranglehold of big tech monopolies well, this is one of them. Digital Homestead was created by a Catholic web developer. So by supporting this sponsor, not only do you support me, but you're directly helping a wholesome company make the world just that little bit better. So please go to digitalhomestead.app slash pjw and become part of that solution today.